Tonight, five Democratic candidates for governor faced off in a KCCI Des Moines Register debate. Kathy Glosson, Fred Hubble, Andy McGuire, John Norris, and Ross Wilburn all took the stage at the State Historical Building. KCCI Chief Political Reporter Cynthia Fodor is there live tonight with a recap. Cynthia. Well, one state Democratic leader in the audience described this as a very even debate. There weren't a lot of fireworks and all the candidates were generally Iowa nice without going after one another. The Democrats are basically on the same page when it comes to most issues like passing common sense gun laws. They all agreed to expanding medical cannabis laws. But when it comes to decriminalizing marijuana, Dr. Annie McGuire said she would look into it and Fred Hubble said not yet. They were each asked if they had anything in their past that could come back to haunt them. They all said no. All five said they would repeal the fetal heartbeat bill, but when asked if they would repeal the tax cuts that Governor Reynolds just signed into law today, only John Norris, Ross Wilburn, and Andy McGuire raised their hands. I believe we need to go back and redo our tax structure so that the wealthy are paying their fair share a little bit more and the lower income folks in our state that are struggling to make ends meet pay a little bit less in taxes. And then I think we need to consider a uh, looking at other generations of revenue for the state uh, such as legalizing personal uh, marijuana. This is not a time to increase the economic disparity we have in Iowa. This tax cut furthers that economic disparity. When your economy is booming, we have some of the lowest unemployment in the history of Iowa right now. This is not a time when you cut taxes. You usually do that when you need to spur a declining economy. This is the time to reinvest and build resilience for when you do have a downturn. We don't have the revenue right now to do the priorities we need. We're cutting higher education. We're not doing enough for our schools. We're not putting enough into health care. So I would look at what services we need for people, because people would be my priority. And then I would look at the revenue I need to do those services. I would, I would not sign this law. I would have vetoed it because now is not the time to lower state revenues. She's already borrowed. The governor's borrowed $144 million from the budget. The, the reserve funds hasn't paid it back yet. Consistently underfunded education, health care, and job training infra infrastructure across our state. And, and at the same time, we've had two years in a row of massive mid-year budget cuts. During a time like this where we've got a hole in the budget, uh, it's not something that, that we can afford to do. Iowans will uh, respect and Iowans want to have um, meaningful, sensible taxes based on the services they are receiving. Iowans have been telling us they want mental health care. Iowans have been telling us they want water clean. Um, Iowans have been telling us that um, they want education funded. Each candidate also gave his or her plan on how they would reverse the privatization of Medicaid and most of them said that would be the first thing they would do if elected governor. Now voters will choose which of these Democrats will win the nomination next Tuesday, June 5th, and the winner of course will take on Governor Kim Reynolds in November. Stephen Shana. Tomorrow, the Democrats seeking the party nomination for Iowa's 3rd Congressional District take the stage. That debate also starts at 6.30. You can watch it over on KCCI or at KCCI.com.